Okay, the purpose of this video is to look at two things. We want to look at um, how to use the calculator um, along with quadratic functions um, to learn more about a situation given a set of data. And the second thing is how do we, um, how do we write our, um, our answers to give evidence that we're doing the work and that we're learning what we're supposed to. So first thing is we have the set of data, which in this case we want to know the context. It's uh, a uh, hole punched into a container that holds water. So we know that uh, there was 15.5 inches of water in the beginning. Four minutes later, there were 3.5 inches of water in the container. And all those data are entered in the calculator. We hit uh, the stat button, and then we hit enter for edit. And we can see I've already entered in the data. Just make sure the data are correct and match what we see. And it works. So the next thing we need to do is to display the data. First would be to make sure the stat plot is on. Oops, wrong button. So we hit Y equals, toggle up, and hit enter. And so now the stat plot is on. And then we need to adjust our viewing window so that we can see um, all the data. So we can go up to 10 minutes. Maybe I probably go to 8 since we have 4 minutes on the table. And uh, the height goes up to 15.5, so we should at least go to 17 or so. Um, from negative one and uh, take a look at the data and it almost appears as though the data are linear although I can see that it's tapering off towards the end here so perhaps a quadratic function is a good model so now I have to come up with that equation to do so I go to stat again I Nintendo over to calculate and choose quadratic regression and now I go to variables so that I can store this in the Y1, Y variables, and function mode, and then I hit enter. So this basically says put the quadratic regression in the Y1 column. So here now I have my A, B, and C values. It's already in Y1, and I hit graph, and I can see the quadratic. It fits through the data really quite nicely, almost as if these data are artificially produced to make it look quadratic in nature. But anyway, so these are, this is the equation, so I have that. The first question is asking, uh, um, what is the depth at six minutes? To do that using the calculator, I simply go calculate, which is second trace, and choose value, and I want x to equal six. So I hit enter, and it shows me where on the graph it is, and it appears as though there's 0.71, or about three quarters of an inch of water after six minutes of time. The second question was, um, what time was the, there are 6.2 inches, so um, about... Um, more than half of the water is drained in terms of water level. So I put 6.2 in for Y2 and I go to calculate, second trace again, and this time I choose the intersect option. So there's curve 1, curve 2, and I guess their intersection is going to be about 2.8 minutes in. We will have 6.2 inches of water. So that's all the calculator stuff. Now how do I actually write my answer and give evidence that I've done all the work on the calculator. To do so, um, I could uh, do one more little bit of information here, and that is to find the zero. The zero is the x-intercept, and so I need to go to the left of the x-intercept, which is right about here, anywhere here is fine, and then I need to go to the right of the x-intercept. That's looking until the y values become negative. Now they're negative, so I'm there. Hit enter and go. At 7.4 minutes we have zero water left in the container. So that helps inform me where to make my graph. So here I've got the, the uh, x and y axis. I have the x-axis representing time and we can go 2, 4, 6, 8 uh, or let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What was it? 7.4? So right about there is when we have an empty container. And then we need to establish the Y scale. And so I'm just going to look at uh, going up 5, 10, 15. I probably, maybe I should do this to two and a half. So that would be 5, 10, 15. and 15.5 inches would be right there, so 0, 15.5. Actually, sorry, I'm just looking at uh, the y-intercept, and it is, oh, the y-intercept is 15.5, so the equation is really perfect. Okay, so 
15.5 is my zero. Here's my x-intercept, and I have a parabola in there. Um, what I did find was uh, another value. So when x equals, say, 4, y is equal to about 3.5. So here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 3.5. Put a point there. So using these three points, all I have to do is sketch a parabola through them. And go to my calculator and write down these coefficients. So um, h of t, that's height dependent on time, will be given by 0 0.265 t squared minus 4.055 t plus 15.5. So that covers A for me right off the bat. Question B was asking, um, what was the depth at 6 minutes? So um, I would write depth at 6 minutes, question mark. That means that T equals 6, and I could just say H of 6 is equal to 0 0.265 times 6 squared um, minus 4.055 times 6 plus 15.5. Jake Deliers, if you're the building, will you report to the main office? Jake Deliers, report to the main office. <laughs> That's for you, Mike. All right, so the uh, um, calculate uh, value at 6 minutes was, again, 0 0.71. So all I have to do here is say that's approximately 0 0.71 inches. And then I could write the height or depth was less than three quarter inch at six minutes. Finally, the last question was when will uh, the height reach 6.2 inches? question mark and that implies that h of t equals 6.2 so the equation we're trying to solve is 6.2 equals 0 0.265 t squared minus 4.055 t plus 15.5 and to solve it I used intersect And I got 2.809 again, so this implies that T is approximately uh, 2.81 uh, minutes after it started draining. Now, I don't have time to do this on this particular video, but one of the things I would do to verify then would be to check using the quadratic formula. The opposite of b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And this would give me verification that I've done everything right with the calculator and everything else. But um, as far as a basic write-up, all of the work that I've shown here gives me evidence that I've used my calculator correctly. The only other thing I need to do is show um, at 2.81 that we are at about 6.2. So I label that point 2.81, 6.2. And I also have the other one that uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 minutes and 0 0.71 inches. So I, I indicate on my graph the answers to the questions that I got in the text, and I'm good to go.